Yo, what's up everyone? I'm back at it again. I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do kind of like a knife story. Uh, kind of like the knives that took me down the rabbit hole of knives. Oh, little shaky, little shaky. Maybe too much coffee. Uh, the knives that took me down a rabbit hole or the rabbit hole. And the knives that put me in the knife community also. I have these two knives to thank for joining the knife community and my love for knives came from both of these two knives. I always liked knives growing up. I either had a Victorinox of some sort and then usually like a folder of some sort, like a Gerber or a Sog, and that's what I had for years and years, probably from the time I was 10 or 12 up until I was in my early 20s because uh, back then I wasn't really interested in the knife world. I always wanted a knife with me and I always had one with me but back then it was more I'm usually going to need a knife so I'm going to keep something sharp in my pocket. Um, but it was a couple years ago, right at the start of the C-19, right about that time, I was heavy into the Pew Pew community, and I was kind of looking for something different, I think, at the time without knowing it, and... At the time, I realized I wanted a better knife than the one... I, I think I still have it somewhere. I didn't feel like digging it up. But I had a couple Sogs and a couple Gerbers that I still have uh, in the knife case. Uh, but I wanted something a little better quality and something that might last me forever kind of a deal. So that's where the buck 110 comes in um this is the buck 110 pro in micarta and then it has an s30v blade with the boss heat treat which their heat treats are phenomenal and then I had my uh, last name lasered into the blade. I got this right from Buck. Um, I figured I was going to buy this one and be done, pretty much. You know, get this one and I'm covered. This is gonna do whatever I need a knife to do and it's gonna do it well and it's gonna hold up and I'll tell you what the edge on this thing is ridiculous if Buck's done one thing well it's these Buck 110 Pros at least this one it came flawless and it's it's an awesome awesome knife I rarely ever carry this knife um, this is more of a, uh, talking piece now, and something I will probably pass down to my son when he is old enough, he's only three, so we'll give it a couple more years, but, uh, this is something I plan on passing down to him, and, uh, he can kind of do what he wants with it. Um, but after I got this, 
I I think I watched some videos on the the 110 Pro cuz I wanted to know what the Pro was and what the difference was between this and say the traditional 110. So I, you know, I was watching vi various videos on it and whatnot and then I think I stumbled onto some sort of bug out review bench made and like I said I wasn't into the knife community I wasn't really that into knives I knew I, I heard a bench made I knew they was American and I knew they made good knives um, but I didn't really know anything else. I didn't really know the models. I didn't really know anything about them. Uh, and then I watched a video on, I think it was a basic bug out, the standard S30V with the plastic handles. Um, and I thought, man, that would be a cool knife to get and be a user and kind of put the buck 110 up on the shelf so to speak and uh, then I got to the listings for the bug outs and you know the the standard bug out is a hundred and thirty dollars or so I think and these versions run for like 270 the carbon fiber and the s90v blade i don't know if i can get that up on the camera yeah pops up and then a, this awesome carbon fiber uh so this one retails for like 270 as i was saying and i thought you know, I paid a hundred bucks, I think, for this one, or right around in there. I think ten bucks for the engraving or whatever. Uh, so a hundred and ten, I, I figured, man, that's you know, that's my max. That's the most I'm gonna spend on a knife. That's more than I've spent. Typically, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty bucks was, you know, that was the sweet spot for to go get a cool sog or something or a cool Gerber. So I figured a hundred bucks, that's my max on a knife. And uh, I was like, there's no way in hell I'm gonna get an S30V blade with plastic scales and pay more than this. And, uh, or pay more for that than I did for this awesome buck 110. And, uh, I don't know, it was a couple days later, and mind you, I'm not working at the time. Our whole company got uh, basically relieved for like five weeks, I think we shut down. <coughs> Excuse me, five or six weeks we shut down because of the C-19. Uh, so I'm bored out of my skull, and I looked up some more videos and i happened to hop on blade hq i think it was and this knife was on sale it was right before the holidays i believe uh this knife was on sale for like 200 bucks so it was like 70 bucks off uh and i was like man that's the one with the s90 v and the carbon fiber scales, you know, and I didn't know what the hell any of that meant or what it was. I just knew this was the premium one. This is the best one you could get. And I thought, man, that's, you know, that's 200 bucks, but it's $70 off of the, the full retail price. So I decided to pull the trigger and snag this knife. And it's awesome that I did, but this knife threw me into the rabbit hole of knives. Um, I loved everything about this knife, and I wanted 
more experiences like the crossbar lock and the action of being able to flip it open and hear the sound and closing it and you know it being a really good knife on top of being able to to mess around with it um this knife weighs two, less than two ounces you can you can take this knife anywhere with you and it's gonna complete any knife task uh you could do um it's a perfect knife uh and i wanted to experience more of that i was intrigued by the whole thing um and then while all this is playing out i'm watching various videos you know uh metal complex and nick and uh slicey dicey guys like that you know i'm watching their stuff watching videos on spider co's and all all the different companies and finding out about budget companies and the whole nine yards you know um and that's how it kind of all spiraled down to me finding the smallest of the small channels and meeting everyone in the knife community you know and this has been a couple years ago now um but I just wanted to do a cool little story time. Uh, something that's a little different than what normally is done. I'm f I figure content is content. Some people like 30 second videos. Some people like 5 minute, 10 minute. Some people like 20 minute videos, 30 minute videos. Um, so I figured I would do something and if however long it is, it is, uh, just kind of story time. Uh, but these are the two knives that put me in the hole. Since these two knives, I've bought in over 150 knives easily in the last couple years here. Easily 150 knives. Uh, and that's just folders. I have quite a few fixed blades also and multi-tools and so on and so on. Those are videos for other days. But uh, the bug out and this knife would be, could be two knives that would last you forever and you'd never need another one. I could have stayed with these two knives and never bought another knife and I'd be fine uh, but that's not how it happened and it's definitely not realistic now uh, but yeah I figured it'd be cool to do a little story about how and why I got into the knife community and the knife world and uh, give a rundown of the two knives um, you can see the Buck 110 is quite a bit bigger than the Bug Out. Uh, the 110, when I got it, I was surprised of how big the knife actually is. Uh, it's a, it's an eight and a half inch knife almost, with a damn near three and three quarter inch blade it's got three and a quarter inch cutting edge uh, uh, the buck 110 is a big knife uh, full size knife for sure and the bug out is coming in about 3.2 on the blade and about almost three for the cutting edge and then it's about seven and a quarter just a touch past seven and a quarter uh for the overall size um 
and I had, I wanted to show this one just for fun. This is the Bug Outs Brother, the 940 or the Osborne. This is its twin brother. This is the carbon fiber and the S90V. But this knife came much later uh, after the bug out. Um, but yeah, these two knives from Benchmade are awesome, awesome knives. Um, but all right, everyone. I just wanted to do a story time. Figured that'd be fun if you sat here through the whole thing. Thank you. Hit like and hit the subscribe. Everybody have a safe day. Love y'all.